We are going to run our country so well and so tight and so smart. And you know what? All of these countries, India, Brazil, Japan, Mexico, everybody, they're going to respect us again. And they're going to like us better than they do now. They don't even like us. And we are going to make America great again. Believe me, I promise you. And I love you all. I love you all. Thank you. We will make America great again. Thank you. We've been listening to Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump speaking from Springfield, Illinois at the Prairie Capital Convention Center. He really focused tonight on how we take back our country. He said we keep protecting other countries without getting enough in return that we owe $19 trillion. And now we're talking about taking in 250,000 refugees, but our system simply cannot take it. He stressed we are going to start by building a border wall by getting Mexico to pay for it. And when it is built, we won't be ripped off as much. He said we're going to take back trade from China, Japan, and India, all countries he's done deals with, and he wants to bring back our jobs and our manufacturing, noting that labor participation in America is the worst it has been in years, and that 5.2 percent is a phony number. As for the Democratic approach overseas, he says the Iran deal is a failure. Our hostages should already be back home, and further claims Sanders and Clinton aren't strong enough to stop ISIS. He took an extra shot at Clinton when he said if we had on his government, she wouldn't be able to run right now, adding people are in jail right now for doing 5% of what she did, but the Democrats aren't going to process her, and it is a disgrace. Then Trump went after Carson and his repeated claims of a violent past, asking the crowd rhetorically, if this is the kind of country where you're better off having stabbed someone, then what have we come to? Now, as you know, if you've been following this race, we're about a year away from Election Day 2016, with Carson sneaking up on Trump, both men almost tied now as a strong front runners for the Republican nomination. An independent Quinnipiac University poll shows Trump with 24 percent of Republican votes compared to Carson's 23 percent. So Trump had to do something strategic, and that is why tonight's location is worth noting. There are a lot of Trump people downstate that don't necessarily vote in Republican primaries. The Illinois primary hasn't gotten that much attention, but it is quite early on in this coming race. And if Trump could secure victories in Illinois and Florida on the same day, he'd be even harder to beat. And finally, speaking of being harder to beat, Trump threw in earlier how he beat Hillary in ratings with his appearance on SNL last week. So the competition never stops and neither do we. Up next, we'll have the Daily Ledger in its entirety. I'm Cassie Loy. And thank you for watching. Good night.